Hello, my name is Greg Aiken, and today I just want to give you six tips to build your career. Another one of my career counseling vlogs. Now let's get into it. So the first thing that you want to do is actually set some clear career goals. Actually get a feel for what you want to achieve overall. So you may have a goal to be a manager. You may have a goal to be a trainer. Whatever that goal is, start to break it down. So define what you want to achieve in your career and set specific, measurable, achievable, uh, relevant and time frame smart goals. Having clear career goals will help you provide a roadmap and also give you direction to focus your efforts and make informed decisions about your career path, whether it be the training you do or whether it be the jobs that you actually take. So first, define what you're trying to achieve, even if it is a broad goal. Next, throughout your career, you want to continuously invest in career development. And now this could be investing in your professional development by acquiring new skills and improving existing ones. For example, at one stage in my career, I wanted to be a TAFE teacher outside my full-time job. So I went and completed a certificate four in training and education because I knew that was the one certificate that I actually needed to get this casual job outside of work. And yes, it didn't help me necessarily with the job I had, but it helped me with other jobs that I was looking at getting in future. Stay also, stay updated with industry trends, whether it be technologies in the industry you're working in. Take relevant courses, attend workshops or conferences and seek out opportunities for learning and growth. Like, for example, as a social worker, I'm constantly doing online courses or um, listening to audio books or going on other people's YouTube channels, learning about different therapy techniques or even attending formal online courses within um, my social work field. So this will not only enhance your expertise, but make you more valuable to your employee and open you up to new opportunities. Like with my example, where I went and did a training a trainer's course that enabled me to get a job as a teacher at college. Build your professional networks. Now, I found this is a crucial part of my career development. Wherever I was, I was constantly networking, getting to know people from other sorts of industries, other sorts of organizations, and building those strong professional networks. And the reason you do this, you want to build these meaningful relationships with professionals in your field through networking events, such as conferences, professional associations, such as the Australian Association of Social Workers, like in my case, um, social media, such as LinkedIn. has a, You can make a lot of connections with other people in your fields on LinkedIn, for example. And also informational interviews. Networking can provide you with valuable advice insights, opportunities, such as job referrals and mentorship, which can help you advance in your career. Like I often networked with a bunch of different recruitment firms. And the reason I was doing that was because I was constantly reaching out for other opportunities in different fields that I was wanting to test out. I was constantly making connections with managers at different organizations because I wanted to learn about those organizations and whether they were places that I was actually interested in working for. And even if there was a job that was being advertised, sometimes I would just ring up the contact person because I wanted to learn about that job and decide whether I wanted to actually work for them. But also in talking to the um, person that was the contact person for that job, I also got a, fe a feel for the organization and how it worked. So professional networking can give you an idea of the different organizations out there that you could be working for and also opportunities that could be available to you. And through professional connect connections, you may also get a job. Seek feedback and learn from it. So feedback is essential for personal and professional growth. Seek feedback from your peers, your mentors, your supervisors, and be open to receiving constructive criticism. Use the feedback you receive from those around you as an opportunity to learn and prove and make adjustments in your career journey. 
We're not going to be perfect all the time in our jobs. We're not going to do everything right all the time. We're going to be constantly learning and evolving. And through feedback of others, we're able to reflect on our own practice. We're able to grow from that reflection and do relevant courses or upskill ourselves in various types of knowledge, et cetera, to improve how we do our particular jobs. So seek feedback during your supervisions, during your meetings with your managers, from your senior peers. Learn and develop and be a reflective practitioner, no matter what field you actually work in. Learn to be open to criticism. Learn to go, okay, I'm not perfect. I need to constantly learn. I need to constantly improve myself. Because no matter what profession we're in, we are constantly learning, we are constantly developing, and technology is changing. The industries are changing what we work in. So we need to constantly be learning and evolving as we move forward and be open to that feedback as we move from one organization to another and build our skills. Demonstrate a positive attitude and work ethic. Your attitude and work ethic plays a significant role in building your career. Be proactive, reliable, and professional in your work. Show enthusiasm, initiative, and a willingness to take on new challenges. A positive attitude and strong work ethic will help you stand out and gain respect and trust of your colleagues and superiors. It makes a big difference, the attitude that you show at work. Because if you're one of those people that goes in um, very cynical and critical all the time in the workplace, you're not going to build yourself professionally. Though if you go in there with a positive attitude, a willingness to learn and a willingness to constantly develop yourself and, you're, and you take on those little opportunities that are being offered to you here and there, then you're going to have opportunities being offered to you. And potentially that's going to help you build your reputation and also get promoted and get other jobs. Take calculated risks and seize opportunities. Building your career may require taking risks and stepping outside of your comfort zone, being willing to seize opportunities, even if they involve some level of uncertainty. Assessing risks carefully, weigh the pros and cons, and be prepared to take calculating risks that align with your career goals. Embrace challenges as opportunities for growth and learning. And they may not always work out. Sometimes you're going to fail in these risks. Sometimes you're going to succeed. For an example, I once resigned from a government job to take a risk managing a recruitment firm. What I found out was I actually didn't like working in recruitment. And yet I did learn a lot of skills from it. And I took those skills with me moving forward to help me get jobs elsewhere. But what I learned from that was I didn't want to work in that industry again at that stage in my career. So some, we're going to learn from every experience we take. And even a couple of years ago, I resigned from a stable, permanent government job to start my own business. Yes, there was a level of uncertainty in that, where I was going to get finances, where I was going to get money. But I've managed to build a successful business as an independent consultant, therapist, counsellor, mental health clinician. So sometimes you've got to take chances to develop skills. And this may come out of actually taking little opportunities within your workplaces. Like with every job we have in the various workplaces we have, there's going to be little projects going on. There's going to be little coaching and mentoring activities, all these other little things that may not perfectly be within our job description, but by putting our hand up and volunteering to do them, they may actually build us and build our skills and open up new doors for us. Over, overall, remember that building a successful career takes time, effort, and dedication. Be patient, persistent, and adaptable as you navigate your career pathway. And it may not always go down one clear, perfect line. It may go sideways sometimes, may go up, may go down. But don't be stressed about it. Every move you make forward in your career is a learning experience that can make you a stronger professional and a better professional and a more diverse professional. But by setting clear goals, continually developing your skills, building a professional network, seeking feedback, maintaining a positive attitude, work ethic, 
and taking calculated risks, you can pave the way for fulfilling a successful career. So what I say out of this, take chances in your career, but also be very structured and calculated in planning your career and moving forward. And one, one last tip, sometimes when you're trying to find a direction that you're working in and you want to know how to get there, check out people's profiles on LinkedIn. Because even by looking at people's profiles on LinkedIn, you may be able to see how they actually got there. And then reverse engineer and set some goals for yourself to go through similar pathways even. That's just one little tip. But anyway, if you like these sort of videos, hit like, please subscribe and leave comments and questions below in the comments section. Anyway, thank you for listening.